Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Just Fun Stuff. It is another beautiful day here on Funland, and it is springtime, and springtime makes me think about new things growing, renewal of things, magical things, so I thought it was time to make a cute little area where the fairies can meet, like a little fairy garden, and use some of the new items and DIYs that we got in the 2.0 update, and I cannot wait to get started. All right, right away, we are starting by putting up a big two-story C-shaped surround. Um, as you can see, the C-shape is now taking shape. I wanted to do kind of waterfalls and a pretty backdrop to what is going to be the actual garden portion at the bottom. I wanted a really decorated cliffside surrounding the area that's the little fairy garden or the fairy meeting place. So you can see the big C shape is up and we've gone into our storage and now we're going to get our items. Um, using a lot of the decorated pillars and ruined items for this, um, had to stop. I needed to, I wanted to put up some trees and some bigger shapes and we kind of ran out of room. I didn't have enough depth. So like everything else, it's trial and error. So going ahead, making some changes, adding some more area so that we can put up more items. All right, the first part is up and now it's putting in some waterways. Uh, nothing, it's not anything that's really even. I just wanted a few waterfalls cascading down because it adds to the magical feel. The waterfalls make everything seem prettier. So that's what we were doing. And now it's a matter of deciding how we want everything to go up. So I wanted some trees for sure on the top, some of the ruined pillars. I don't know, they just, they seem so magical and fairy-like and I don't know why, but they work so well. So we put up some pine trees, mush lamps, some of the decorated pillars, and then using some of the caves turned around so that they don't look like caves. They just look like big rock formations. And I love the vines all through them. I think they just look so pretty. So we've gone ahead, added that, back to our storage and back to what we are doing. More of the pillars. The I love the tall pillars, the decorated pillars, because we can put stuff on them. And of course, I added cherry blossom items because there's nothing more fairy-like than cherry blossom items. Definitely adding a lot of street lamps and mush uh, or lamps as well because you need a fairy garden to be kind of sparkly. So here we are just figuring out, going back and forth, how to get everything to kind of fit the way I want it to. Again, it is all trial and error trying to fit things in. But the cool thing about a fairy garden is it doesn't have to be perfect. Like the more things you can jam in, kind of the prettier that it is. Um, as many plants as you can put in and topiaries and lights, it all looks good. So it doesn't really need to be exact. I was just trying to fit as much as I could because you don't want the back to look empty. So here we are figuring out how to put the last of everything in at the top and moving on. You can see now the top doesn't look so empty. Uh, going back up and now adding a few things to, a few waterways I should say, and a few plants to the second level, adding a few more waterfalls, making it go kind of all the way across just because the water is beautiful and magical, adding a few more plants, looking and deciding. I didn't like the way that the water was working there, so we decided to move a shrub, fix my waterway, and then add another shrub, and we're good. All right, it is now starting to take place. It's starting to look a little dreamy, adding and grabbing a few more things because I want it to look nice. Of course, a Nova Star, that's a must for a fairy garden. And it's really starting to come together. Now, I found this custom and I absolutely loved it. It's for a pentagram, but 
It's not a typical kind of spooky looking pentagram. It's pink and it's covered in vines and it was just beautiful and I thought it would make a really cool, instead of pathing everything out, I thought it would make a really cool centerpiece to this fairy garden that we are creating and I will include the code for this in the description as well. So if you're interested in using it, I just thought it was so cute and it worked so perfect. Now we're adding our ruined arches. I was going to do two, one in the front and one in the back, and I decided instead it made more sense to outline it with the decorated pillars because, again, we can put stuff on top, and I thought what a great use for the Nova Stars. Um, I actually just did a tour after I had built this to an island that was very fairy core and they put the glowing moss stools on top of decorated pillars and I didn't even know that that was a thing you could do. So that's another idea if you want to change it up and make it different. The glowing moss stools look amazing. Of course the pine trees everywhere because this is a fairy garden and there's something, I don't know, magical about them. They're really beautiful. Now we're adding our Nova lights up top because they look beautiful and you can see it's really starting to shape up. Now again, Funland, as I've said before, is ever changing and I'm always changing the theme and I'm obsessed with the way that this was starting to come out and look and it made me think that maybe I should go full out fairy core for the whole island. I've never done an entire island theme before. I've done themed areas but I've never gone with one whole theme so that's something I might consider doing for the rest of Funland seeing how we can do fairy type items but do it a little differently um, again try to use the same items that we all have but just in a slightly different way all right back to what we were doing before having to change one little area because I needed more space in the back. I wanted to add more height with some trees, so I had to kind of dig myself into a hole to create the backdrop, and then I was able to put more trees down behind. Now we're just rounding off some edges because it just, it looks nicer. Adding another tree, and it's really starting to come together. Now I moved the mush lamps because again I don't want everything to be completely square. Um, I was gonna leave it that way and then I thought no I want it to have a little bit more of a natural feel but now it's really starting to look and feel like a fairy garden and it makes me so happy finishing off with the rest of the Nova lights and I just did them in white because I like the whole white pink green thing that we've got going on right now. I think it looks really really nice. And the blossom lanterns, I have so many. I bought them for a build I was gonna do, and then I never ended up doing it, and I thought, how perfect are they for a fairy garden? So added some no, or blossom lanterns. Now we're just adding some more shrubs because you need the greenery. It's a garden after all, and obviously it's not gonna have a ton of planted plants, so a few shrubs are definitely needed. Adding a few more arches in the front because they look beautiful. More blossom lanterns again because I had them. And the more light you can add to an area, the better. Of course the glowing moss, I don't know. It's just, I think, the greatest thing that was added to this game. The vines are great, they look beautiful on the cliff sides, but the glowing moss seems to, I don't, it doesn't matter where you put it, it just looks pretty. Now, the last touch is the suspicious cauldron, because the fairies, you know, they need somewhere to hang out and talk and stand around, and it's pretty, and it glows, and it looked beautiful in the middle of the pentagram, and I was really happy with it. Of course, some glowing moss boulders, because this is a garden, and gardens have rocks, but I want them to be fairy-like, and there's nothing more perfect than that. So, just adding a few more plants. Again, it is a garden. But look at how beautiful that area went from absolutely nothing to this beautiful fairy garden where all the little fairies can come and meet and work on planting and growing and creating. And I just think it's so pretty and peaceful and serene. It's beautiful. I'm super happy with the way that that turned out. It's just 
everything that I wanted. It is the reason I feel like going all the way fairy core for the rest of the island because it's just so pretty. And of course, you have to see it at night. All lit up and beautiful. It looks amazing. And now the glowing moss doing its thing. It looks just absolutely magical. And I, I love it. I love the look of this garden at night. I hope you enjoy it as well. If you do, leave a thumbs up on the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you've already subscribed. You are amazing and appreciated. Thank you so much. We're going to end it here. And I want to thank you again. And we will be back with more Animal Crossing videos.